Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to try to build a simple web server on this ESP8266. Now, we have different versions of ESP8266. In this tutorial, we have the Wemos D1 R1 and the Wemos D1 uh, Mini. This is the Nod MCU which we are going to use in this tutorial, but if using this or this, it's going to work. You can notice that they have these little Wi-Fi module embedded to it as seen in the previous video and that's what we are going to program. The way we are going to do this is we are, tr we are going to try to connect this board to a Wi-Fi network so that we can access, access the server that we made on that Wi-Fi network and see some HTML things that we coded on it. So, I am going to check if my Node MCU is connected to my uh, my PC on port, you can see that I have it in COM port 10 and I'm gonna go on boards and make sure I chose the Node MCU. Then I'm gonna have this code, I will leave a link in the description. The first thing to do or notice is, you can see that we have this include ESP8 to Wi-Fi, these are libraries that allow us our, allow our ESP8266 to get connected to the Wi-Fi. This allows the ESP8266 to get to you know to make a client to be a client on a local area network, you know, on a router or something. And this allows us to host a server. So the next important thing we need to do is to specify the SSID which is available in our location. So in my case, this is my SSID, this is my password. If you're, you're following this tutorial, you can put the network that is available in your place. And down here, you see that we are starting a web server with on the port 80. So now this port in networking, it is a port used in internet communication protocol, especially hypertext transfer protocol. It is used to send and receive HTML pages or data. Now, uh, in the void setup, you can see that we are starting, you know, the serial communication because we have the cable and this is the baud rate or maybe speed, which is this one. You can see that compared to the Arduino, we have increased because, you know, with the ESP, we need, you know, a faster speed. Now, this is the Wi-Fi mode. This is you know, beginning the Wi-Fi that we connected to. So let's scroll down here on the very important thing. So if we go down here, this is where we need to put our HTML that are going to be displayed on our web server. So the first thing we need to do is to go to Sublime Text or any text editor. I'm gonna choose Sublime Text and click on New. I'm going to save this file as index.html then I'm going to start a simple html like this then I'm going to go ahead and say maybe h1 then say greetings from esp8266 then say yeah just like that then I'm gonna go down here and put an HR. And here I'm gonna put on a paragraph. Let me see, let me put some random text from Ron. Then let me delete everything, you know, to not make it shabby. Like this, then I'm gonna add a little style. Let's say style, color. I know this is the basic HTML, but you know, we are, we are learning how to make a server on ESP8266. So I'm gonna put a color, a blue color, this one, just like that. Then I'm gonna go here and style, I'm gonna put border, 1px, solid. Then I'm gonna put a color, which is, you know, I guess red. Copy, paste it right here and close. And we're going to leave this paragraph just like that. So now the thing we need to do to embed these codes into our, you know, into our Arduino code, we need to, you know, convert it into C++ stuff. So we're going to copy this, then go to our browser. You need to look at something that is called text to string. If you type in Google, something like text to C++. I think if you open like this tomeco.net, 
which I have right here, then put your text. So you can see down here that, I mean, put the text from the, you know, the HTML, but first let's see how our HTML is looking. I'm going to save it, then go to the file where I saved it, then open with Chrome. You can see how this looks. So now we need to send these, these files, these things onto our server using ESP8266. So I'm going to close everything, then go to, so you can see that here it is saying split out into multiple lines. So we need it in one line. I'm going to uncheck that, then go ahead and convert. So I'm grabbing this. I'm going to copy it, then go back to my Arduino codes, then paste it right here. So now the next thing we need to do is to upload this sketch onto our ESP8266. Now, if everything works perfectly, we're going to see the result. So let's wait a little until the sketch is uploaded. We have an error, which is this one right here. We need to close it. Okay, yes, it's here. Just like that. Then let's check again. Now it's done compiling. Let's go ahead and upload this. Now, after this is uploaded successfully, we need to open our serial monitor, make sure that we have the board rate, which is the same as we specified. You can see that my board is yet connected to my Wi-Fi, which is Elelio, and we have this IP address. So what I'm going to do is to copy this IP address because it's where, you know, our web server is hosted. Then I'm going to go back to my browser and try to put this IP address and see what we have. Boom. You can see that we have the text that we, in, we inserted. Now, if I take maybe a mobile phone that is connected to the same network with me, Uh, go to um, the browser, type the IP address that we have been given. Now, if I go to a mobile phone and try to type, try to type the IP address that we have seen in the serial monitor, then click on it, then go. If I am on the same network with this ESP8266, you can see that I have the page that we made on on this mobile phone. So this is how to make, you know, a simple web server on ESP8266. If you like this video, please don't forget, you know, to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, peace.